the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, man. W- what do you do? You listen to old stuff? Yeah. What Hell do you yeah. listen to? I like. Um, we I do like '90s R&B now, but I like uh, funk music. I like like Bootsy Collins. All right. I like. Uh, <laughs> I love Jimi Hendrix. He's one of my favorites. I like uh, Curtis Mayfield, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, freaking Cool in the Gang, fucking. Uh, I listen to everything, bro. I, I I like a lot of the older soul music, like the Spinners, uh, Patti LaBelle. You know what I'm saying? But I was raised on everything. My dad listened to Bob Marley. He listened to uh, freaking. Uh, Oh, we used to listen to a lot of Sting in the police. Really? Man, I love Sting. He's one of my favorites. Um, just all the jams, you know what I'm saying? Like the classic shit. Like it, you could put on any song, like for real, for real. And I fuck with it because I, I listen to a lot of different music. And yeah, oh yeah, Marvin Gaye, man. Yeah, he's one of my he favorites. Was, he was phenomenal, man. Yeah, Marvin Gaye was really good. And his his tragic story. That was crazy. His dad shot him. It's so crazy. I. I dated a girl once. This girl was so nuts, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, we were talking about you Marvin Gaye. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Marvin Gaye, and I was saying like, it's like it's so insane that his dad shot him. And she said, "Imagine what a piece of shit he had to be for his dad to shoot him." Yeah, right. And I was like, "What?" I go, "No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would you assume he's the piece of shit when his dad fucking shot him? If he's a piece of shit, why doesn't his dad just get away from him? No, if his dad's shooting him. His dad's a piece of shit." <laughs> Like, but it was amazing. She was like instantly thinking he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, I don't get your logic. It's How did crazy. You, like, that's someone with a good dad. Different. <laughs> that's because she's someone who grew up with a good. She still loved her dad. Uh huh. She was close with her dad. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, that. Oh God, I don't even know my dad. So that was, to me, I'm like, that dad shot him because yeah. he was Marvin Gaye. Mm-hmm. He's probably upset that mm-hmm. his son had become Marvin Gaye. Truth. <laughs> Imagine being Marvin Gaye too, where you, all your songs are like the best music to fuck to. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't have. There was nothing. There was no slide into the DMs. No, nah. they had to find him physically. Yeah. But he seemed like kind of like a faithful <laughs> guy. Like he seemed like he would find like one chick and yeah. just fuck her and write an album about it. That would be a good narrative. Mm-hmm. I think it's hard for those dudes if they're singing about fucking all the time. Mm-hmm. It's, it's coming their way. It's a tsunami. But they usually like just want to fuck one girl like that. Right, like those those Romantic love songs, dudes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like when yeah. the music's dark, like Easy E, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like he's fucking mad bitches. He wasn't talking about like <laughs> <laughs> like just one. Like right, right. You know what I mean? He wasn't on his Marvin Gaye shit. That was what I remember. Cause he said sexual healing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? When you get that feeling, he needs sexual healing. Like yeah. the shit made him feel better. Yeah, you know, when he was with her. That's you know a big I mean? difference between the NWA's first album. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference in the message. <laughs> Sexual healing. There's some shit from like the early gangster rap days you listen to today. You're like, whoa, yeah, yeah. Like this is this is crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember it at the time when it was first coming out, mm-hmm. and no one knew what, like, no one could understand. There was no music like this before, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you have Ice T. Yeah, that was before they like, even whoa. had the, the freaking parental advisory on there. They yeah. made that because like it was like, yeah. yo, parents. Make sure y'all uh, mm-hmm. check this out before your kids get it. It was Al Gore's wife. It was Tipper Gore. Mm-hmm. It was she was the one who was in charge. It was like she was leading the charge. Yeah, against I think it was her. Make sure I'm I'm right about that. Is it? I was right. I'm not mad at that. That made rap music better. You think so? Hell yeah! It's like made it more dangerous. Oh, we put the the extreme. Yeah, yeah. The, shoot, they were trying it's to like a rated R movie. They now. were trying to ban some stuff though. They were trying to ban like certain Luke, kinds of music and like. Uh, oh yeah, well that was rap. Florida. Uh-huh. Florida's crazy. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck around in Florida. If they I'm catch cool. you in Florida, yeah, I'm they good. they arrest people for anything. You can get arrested for obscenity in Florida. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm not going to Florida. Florida was a. That's well, I go, but I'm Broward, not going right? crazy in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> Briar County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't get arrested for swearing. Yeah, you know, like, you know what I mean. That's what they got two live crew for. Right? Yeah, explicit mm-hmm. lyrics. Yeah. Fuck. I'm good on all People that, forget actually. about that, right? Yeah. Like Those guys were like the Lenny Bruce of rap. Right. Like re- Lenny Bruce is a guy who went ar- he got arrested a bunch of times for stand-up comedy because mm-hmm. he wouldn't change his words and his, you know, swearing on stage. He yeah. was brought into the, in front of the court. That was two live crew. Imagine going ways. to jail for like... For rap. Yeah. 
That's crazy. It's crazy for saying something. For saying something. Somebody doesn't like it, so they want to put you in a cage. Wow. Because they don't like how you're saying. Wow. They don't like what you're saying. They don't like how you're saying it. Like, could you arrest someone if they just said that somewhere? What if they're in the comfort of their own house mm -hmm. and they said the things that are in that? Mm -hmm. Is that illegal? Yeah. Could you yell it out the window? Yeah. Could I drive down the road yelling it out the window? Right. Should be able to. It should be able to. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, man? Who the fuck are you to tell people they can't do that? But then Florida, they're like, nope, obscenity yeah. for rap. Florida's like its own world, though. Like that's yeah. why when shit goes down, it's like, all right, and then it's Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>